barely getting away. Nick is still around and gets lasered to the ground for a moment, but survives miraculously, is able to get out there. That is Integrate, nearly took him out. But of course, Fnatic, knowing that they just took a few of your opponent's team members out, they can just simply move in and go for boss. Still have to be a bit careful. They don't have vision on the opponent's team, and it's not too much, but they will be able to secure that boss one way or another. And they also still have Sanctuary. Yep, boss being taken, sinking available. There's no way this can be taken, and Expert is aware of it. They spread out and attempt to grab some shots for now. Just trying to save the game at this point. Not trying to fall too far behind. They are one level missing. They are even in terms of talents, but Fnatic should be able to close that gap soon. The boss pushing in the bottom left. The temple being grabbed. Breeze and Smexy, a warrior in support, mind you, are contesting around the temple phase just because Fnatic has so much swagger right now in this game. The momentum is really solid. So far, Expert's draft has not really panned out the way that they were envisioning it. Now we're having a 4 is 4 in the middle of that. Benny is down. Arthur's eliminated. 5 versus 4 on the map and a numerical advantage also up here in that temple area since we see Gazlo defending at the bot lane. A two-level lead nearly for Fnatic, and they have the extra talent looking strong here. And going into mm. double burning rage even. Double burning, double burning rage. rage. Keep up the wave clear, some out of DPS in those fights. And at nine wow. minutes in the game, a little less than nine minutes here, we already have Fnatic getting pressure on the keeps. A little bit of damage there from the Temples are shining down. 14 to 12, Mercenaries continue to be grabbed. Expert, how do you get back in this game, Kaldor? Burning Rage actually this has a huge win rate. This is a really good question, and the one that I personally can't and answer here. They, of course, they need to win a fight in the big one, but I just don't know how they're going to make that happen. They need kills, and they didn't get a single one just yet. They are yielding ground whenever Fnatic moves in, and you can't blame them since they are already so far behind. They need to wait for the 20, but they're still losing the heroes once again. There's the kill against Tracer. Nick is down, and they are trying to make it a double, going for Blade, and they are going to get him barely, but they do. Fnatic is just running the show I'm here. Trying to see yeah, double how much damage can the burning uh, uh, he gets on double burning that rage He dude. burns her down with that go for the throat. Now keep being burned as it's going to be started to be focused. It's down to half health, low on HP. And Gazel's doing Gazel things in the top lane, but at the moment, Fnatic does not care as they will be able to take away the keep, get catapult pressure, and they still have Giants sieging away. Yep, Giants take down more structures. Every structure you eliminate is another one that doesn't soak up temple shots. Gazlo is starting to pressure the wall up at the top. Fnatic doesn't really care about this. They already took down a keep. They are aiming for level 16. They're going to have a three-level advantage in just a moment. And AD already is even caught here. And I wonder why Tyrell even moved back. But he doesn't, he's not even like, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have to be part of this kill, guys. I'm fine. AD already pops up the mid speed. Attempts to reach <laughs> you. Can, you can run, now. but you can hide. Yeah, he's jumping around, <laughs> attempting the Hearthstone. This is actually buying They're some delaying time. it. They're delaying the kill. And it works. I mean, look at this. Now he's, he's going to die anyways. He, he will fall. The, and the thing is, now with him dying, that's 30 seconds on the clock, 20 seconds until the temples activate, which basically means they can make a play for double temple. So they're deliberately delaying the kill to make sure that they have an advantage. And to be honest, ADRD should have just suicided right into them. Yeah, like run of the him game actually cards. playing that game and allowing them to do that was a mistake. Fnatic will grab the temples here, and as you mentioned, 10 seconds for Nogazo, which has allowed Fnatic to take both temples now, which are hitting the keeps in the middle on the top. Bad Benny is hoping to slow this down. Nick is on the left here. He does not have a pulse bomb, I believe, quite ready for him yet. Almost there. Person is floating on the same time, and finally, Gazo does spawn, but Expert is just in a really poor spot. Their main damage, Nick. Has been focused down by Quagnix here. He goes in for the engage, he needs to go for the throat. Yeah, Li Ming uh, uh, forced him down, and then Quagnix tried to go in for the kill, but Benny once again will be in the back here, going in. Breeze jumping in as well as Bad Benny is running out of mana completely. The silent Smexy with a Twilight Dream, the Twilight Nightmare taking all of them apart. A triple kill for Fnatic. They are dominating this. 
and they are looking for a core rush here. Breeze leading the charge. Quietness on the back left. He is low on mana, but a gray main on core is a deadly gray main indeed. As Breeze and Quietness will start attacking, they are looking for the win. Now there is a spawn in 10 seconds here for Gazzo and multiple members for Expert. Can Blade slow this down? He needs to get on that gray main. Okay. <laughs> All right then. 17 to 14. Expert's core is falling 50%, 40%. Bad Vinny finally does spawn. He will hit a howling blast, but that does not matter. Fnatic will take the victory and they will go up 2-1. <laughs> to one. I love the attempt to delay. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, nope. All right, so 2-1 like for Fnatic. Um, here, huh? Yeah, that draft is like Lighting. No, no, it did not, Kaldor. Any, any words from our specialist right over what here? about the other side? You know, it happens, man. Sometimes you just got to pull off the clamps, and sometimes the clamps this don't work. This is good. Work, you know? I'm still a bit surprised because, as I said, they... I mean, they completely got annihilated. Mm. We don't have to talk about that. They didn't get a single kill. That game was a short one. But for me personally, when I look at this, it's one of the things where they just don't throw drafts out. Yeah. The early days, at least not in a game that is as important as this. So their strategy <laughs> just completely did not work. Fnatic was shutting down the well. I think if that draft gains momentum, it's much easier to execute it because it can set up better. But with Fnatic just riding the momentum that they got from getting the early kills that they had, they were always able to establish position first and they were always a talent up. So at that point, coming back through the gas low is it's hard. You can't nearly impossible because as you said, you need to set up. When can you set up? Usually when you are a little bit ahead and when you are in a position where you, you can if you can force the ground where the fight takes place, then you can win. But for that to happen you need to be ahead and you need to be just like pushing in. So if you get ahead with the draft I can see that work. But with this particular how setup, is the screen? Yeah, being with behind how is Robo Goblin screen? in particular, it's very difficult to make that comeback moment actually happen. You need kind of the yeah. gravel bomb, high risk, high risk play if you are behind. But we'll come back with maybe some more crazy drafts from Expert oh, right sure. after this commercial. We'll be back with game number four. <laughs> All right. I want to see game number two, though. Here's game number two. Game number two. I want to see game number two. Where is it? Heroes of the Storm, play is that this one? Welcome back to the HGC. We just finished watching Expert take the first win in a best of five series against Fnatic. We're gearing up for game number two. If you have any advice for Fnatic going into game number two, what would effective Leoric is going to be the choice? I mean, Leoric can actually deal out a fair amount of damage, especially with the increase, like with him reaching 20, for example. Sure. That's another big point for him. It's. They need to kill something. So the How is this green, dude? I'm on a green you screen. You can lock targets down. You have but a couple of things available. But somehow I'm being invisible here. Then later on with a good Entomb, keep someone in play, in place, and uh, especially Bala can deliver the damage. That would be really important for them. But breaking through all of the shields is not going to be easy. And you could even see that palm. And if Karazim goes palm instead of seven-sided, then how do you drop that? Poor Bad Benny. And apparently really aiming for the cooldown reduction so he can maybe get another blind in during the team fighting or it's gonna be only restricted uh, to okay. one. But it's definitely something that you usually don't see just because how how little value it actually has for Johanna because of the attack speed. Yeah, looking for an extra blind, maybe another condemn. He is one of the main, in fact one of the only main CCs available here for expert besides for the root, so Dim gonna be have to be very important and use Boop. at a perfect time. Quagnus <laughs> jumping on Blade, bring out the damage. Quagnus <laughs> chasing him to the side here. Blade will sustain for now with the drain wow. hope, but the first ult from the top left stolen by Fnatic, and they will easily. Win. That's a very odd talent to pick because normally you really want to get the extra damage in on your drain. It really feels like they haven't currently just most case of the game. Multi -shot you do your thing, you go and AFK the offlane and just like get that pressure in, you get the experience and you get the wave clear and then we'll see you in the team fights as well. So not really as focused on damaging a single target as you would usually see them, missing out a bit on the damage but gaining more wave clear as a result. But yeah, experts, like that fight, not only did 
did bring them back into the game, it's brought them to a point where they are ahead in experience. Pestar but they're still behind be in core points. Second second. They are, and they're hoping to maybe get a four taken out, but Fnatic has set up very well in terms of defense. They have their Grammys in the middle, while the Haka dealt with the top lane. The other three members head to the bottom here, and they're guiding these sappers in. Applying some pressure would be good for them, and Expert suddenly back on the back foot. Defending, and I'm watching ADR here. What's he going to do here if Bad Benny goes in for the engage? Nick floating around. There is an altar to be contested by our teams. Yeah, also another talent that we definitely have to mention is nullification on level 13 for Tacita. Because Ooh. with both of the teams really being this dependent on a hyper carry, nullification against the Vala is going to be a huge deal. Once again, Force Wall with a 7 sided. Bad Benny able to survive, though, gets all the heals he needs from Kirsten and Adiardi. And the fight is still raging on as we have Leoric slowly and steadily making his way down to the bot lane to the altar, starting to join this fight. I want to call out Kirsten, man. He walked into that 7 sided strike to help out with Johanna getting focused down. Now, Ouch, Benny getting the There is going to be a big tongue oh. there. It is connecting Nick and Trouble. Oh, wow. The force wall comes out, but he's able to wow. bolt around it. <laughs> Both of those have been used as well, it's and amazing. Expert walks out oh, healthier and freedom. set up to grab the altar. That should have been a dead Vala right there. They're able to get Nick out, which is absolutely insane. In Tomb against Freeze gets stunned against the wall with a entertainment strike. Well done, but Bebe needs oh, in trouble. Bebe is down. Freeze gets healed as Smexy jumps in once again. Leoric moving oh, out, the double but the doubles. altar has been grabbed in the meantime. Nick retreating for now. He has to live here with this yeah, thing at 5v4. Expert has gotten everything they wanted. They got experience. They were able to get the altar. Now get away from the fight. Leoric pushing in the middle lane and the top. Fnatic starting to chase here. Instead of being proactive, they suddenly become much more reactive to their opponents. Now, talking also a bit the battle of the damage dealers, we have 50,000 damage on yeah, Rayman cool Dishcon and 84,000 for Bala as Blade is being caught by a great heroic Used by Breeze, yeah, very well, well done. Instant call on the boss, they're focusing it down. Expert moving in for the engage. Where is Bad Benny? Will he be the one to start the fight? The answer is no, because he is dead right now for one <laughs> second. And Fnatic walks away with four shots on the core. Oh, the movie stat that we just saw there on screen. 11 KDA for him, 11.0. <laughs> it's just crazy. They really thrive with these heroes. And now it's seven points against a 20. Experience still slightly in favor of Team Expert, but the last fight was a bit better. But I have to actually like marvel at the ability of Expert to keep this Vala alive. The amount of pressure that is being forced onto Nick is crazy. And that he's not only able to get nearly 90,000 damage 15 minutes in, but that he's also in a position where he just doesn't die because of all the support, because of how well they time all their cooldowns is fantastic. They're doing a, an amazing job here. Well, can they keep up with it as one altar will be spawning here in the middle in the next 19 seconds. The Hawk will be the one to start the engage as he can brush dock in for the team, and he does so. He's on the left side. ADRD is being focused down. He will age to the last second. There is still a drag available. The drag does miss. Yep. ADRD being Whoa, focused. He's getting hope, though. No oh, yeah. He's hoping to There's live hope. here. The Twilight Dream's been used. <laughs> it's hit multiple people. Nick looking for a kill, but the shield comes out. Here's Blade, but it's slightly too late here. Okay, Breeze gets the shield. Blade with the Entomb. But as you said, it's too late already. Oh, wow. We have Oriel out of the picture, and that puts Fnatic into the driver's seat. Once again, Breeze low though, so they have to be careful. And we have both of the teams converging onto that altar in the middle. Five versus four for another 35 seconds. Blade with a lead. Smexy jumping in on his Karasim, dishing out the damage. And they are poking them away, slowly pushing them backwards. Blade keep working on the drain. Hope he is chunking down to Haka. We're going to have the flashlight coming out from Bad Bane to the lake. The Entomb is not available, and Leoric will fall. Nick. Drops out the multi-shot, but Expert has to make a decision. Give up this altar now. They will drop down to three points, but they're still in the game, and both <laughs> teams are near level 20. Well, this is a three-point game now, which... Hey, it's actually kind of interesting. I don't think a fort has been taken by Expert this entire game. Just constant dancing in the bottom for our teams. Now, 20 is here looking at the choices. We have both there for our Malphelion. Uh. Watchman plays Bad Benny being focused down the force wall. 
still available for Squimpy if you would like to go in for the engage, but Brush Tucker has been used by Wubby. Yeah, and also we have now with all the level 20 talents available, just such a different team fight. So this is going to be very interesting from Fnatic's perspective in particular. Because of that extra pressure, you've talked a lot about the talents with the Spectral Leash, the Farfly Quiver. All of these things are going to put so much more pressure on every single hero on that setup, and especially of course Greymane. If he falls, I said it before, it's going to be in so much trouble. And that is something that they have to watch out for. That far flight hmm. is helpful too when Greymane dives in if he doesn't get the kill huh? he wants to. Suddenly yeah. Bola can respawn and yeah. kill him on the way out. So watch out for it. Seven what sided being used. Age is a bit late, but still being used. Bad Benny low on health. Big pop there from ADRD. Nick is using the strafe, poking out. Leork was able to grab the middle altar. The no one can die here for Egbert. Massive oh. Twilight Dream! Oh, oh cursing. <laughs> the god in this case. This is the second time he pulls that off, and it's fantastic. I also love how the detainment strike is used nice. every single time that Entomb comes down. Detainment strike with Indian Tomb, the stun is applied, and then they go for it. Expert with the double kill. And still, three points on their core, but they gain momentum, and Fnatic is down to 12. This game is not over. It's not over, but it's starting to look pretty poor here for Fnatic. The fort in the bottom right, the bell tower has been taken out. The middle one can be picked up as well. If Expert goes in for the aggressive play, Lior continues to keep up the aggression by clearing out those waves. Expert here to put them in a spot to take on Fnatic and maybe go up 2-0. Fnatic is going to need one more massive play around the altar, and then they can take out the game. But can they do it? I really love the way that ADRD is playing this Oriole. Like his, Boss. sometimes maybe a tad late when we are talking about the Aegis, but he's always there when he needs to be. And the detainment strikes have been great so far. So this is really something where Expert is shining and Fnatic is having trouble with that. They isolate a target like the Johanna, they get the seven sided in, but they can't confirm the kill because of the follow ups that we have from Expert. Oh, wow. They're really and then close Fnatic to a little bit too far and gets punished for being in that position. And they need to make sure that okay, there is not so where they would lose. Big of Fury and Twilight Dream against them. Fnatic's going for it. We're going to be having the bolt come in from Curse, and he goes in for the Twilight Dream. He's Grey standing. No. Nick's Grey brain up the straight. Grayman has fallen. GG. But Fnatic is going to take it with the explosion zone, and they will secure the wow. victory over Expert. That was a gutsy call. That was actually a close game. That they almost had to make there, if as the lose, entire map was lost, being taken by Expert. We are tied in the series 1 1. I can't believe. I mean, can you imagine? The faces on x right now, they sit there and they're like, what? That sucks because <laughs> <laughs> what just happened is they go into the fight. What's the first thing that happens in the fight? They kill Grayman. Yeah. So they're like, we, we kind of won, won the fight, yeah. right? Leoric comes back now. So we have a five versus four. <laughs> the damage dealer is gone. And then Breeze is like, wait a second. What happens if I hit R? <laughs> <laughs> and they take the boss, steal it away. If they lose the fight at that moment, the game's over. Expert has a 2-0 lead. But nope, they steal it away. Expert comes in That's too crazy. late, and all of a sudden, we have a tie. Incredible ending to an incredible series in game number two. We'll just get ready for game three. We'll be right back. This is yeah, I already said game three, so we can get game four, I guess. Game four. Oh, <laughs> They do ah. it. <laughs> the, there we go. The show goal. Me too, but I'm, I'm just like, I'm also just be a bait. But they have now with false set at least a giant killer hero. And they have a new Barak. They let Arthur's go. And now just a question, expert. They probably were just trying to bait something here. Or trying to, uh, yeah. I don't, I, I, nah. They, they can't do that. They're, they're not going to do it. I'm hoping. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm hoping like, too, but I'm, I'm just like, I'm, I'm just like, no. I'm channeling all happiness. They do. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they were guessing <laughs> Chagall? And uh, it's one yeah, of the maps where they lost to do now, it. So I'm going to stop for now. All right. See you guys soon.